brothers and sisters. I was just doing some studying, so I just wanted to um, talk to you today about why it's important to correct your status. So let me lead you to the Black's Law um, Dictionary, what I'm looking out, look what I'm looking through right now. And we'll just go over some, um, just some information so that way people can better understand. Okay, so first off, let's um, talk about what status is. Okay, can you see that? Status, which says, according to the Black's Law Dictionary, status is standing, state, or condition. And then if you look right here, it says the legal relationship of individual to rest of the community right here the rights duties capacities and incapacities which determine a person to a given class a legal personal relationship not temporary in its nature nor terminable at the mere will of the parties with wit with which third persons and the state are concerned okay so that is status and our status in the society means everything. So where do they get status from? First off, you have to understand, well, not understand, but you have to understand what, um, where, where status comes from, why status even matters. So if we go, when we speak about status, we're talking about your birth certificate, your social security card, um, any type of government documents that you have to be able to live and work in this society. So how the government comes up with status, let's first look up um, artificial, okay? So artificial, is in opposition to the word natural. Okay, so everybody knows that artificial would be fake. Natural is natural. Okay, let's jump down here to artificial persons. Why would it say artificial persons? Fake persons. What is an artificial person? Persons created and devised by human laws for the purposes of society and government as distinguished from natural persons. Corporations are examples of artificial persons. So a corporation is an artificial person. Let's jump to look up and see what it says about corporation. What is a corporation? We know today that corporations are uh, businesses like McDonald's, Blue Cross and Blue Shield, H&R Block, um, hospitals, um, churches, yeah, churches are <laughs> business. Um, those things are considered corporations, okay? So, according to the Black's Law Dictionary, Oh, here we go. Let me see corporate. Well, I'm sorry. Let's let's get corporation. Okay, corporation. An artificial person. There's artificial person again, or legal entity created by or under the authority of the laws of a state or nation. Composed and some were instances of a single person and his successors. And it goes on and on and on. So you have to know that there's a difference in an artificial person, a natural person, and a corporation. Your status in the society, meaning your 
um, your birth certificate and your social security card would make you a corporation or aka an um, artificial person. Okay, let's look up natural person and see what natural is. Yes, it even has that in here. Let me get to it. This book is pretty thick, you guys. I um, printed this off at one of the previous slave ports that I worked at. Uh, what was I looking at, person? Let's see. Black's Law Dictionary is a dictionary that judges, attorneys, lawyers, any type of person in so-called authority, that's what they use, is the Black's Law Dictionary. They use Bovet's Dictionary. They use um, Ballantine's Law Dictionary. So the words that we say daily mean something totally different if you look it up in the law dictionary. So what I'm trying to find right now is person. Okay. So look right here, person. Yes, I already have it highlighted. A man considered according to the rank he holds in society with all the right to which the place he holds entitles him and the duties which it imposes. Term may include artificial beings as corporations. But that's the definition of a person. So again, the rank you hold in society is your status. All right, so let's see what a straw man is. A straw man, see right there? straw man it's an artificial public entity that you represent which is created by the government and therefore subject to government statutes and regulations this is called the straw man and it is a public office within an agent of the government so just know that there are two of you two two of you there's a natural being which is your private person, the one created by the universal creator, and then there's a straw man which was created by the government at your birth. So your social security card and your birth certificate again is your straw man, your all capital letter name. That's why anything that you receive in the mail, any type of legal documents, anything that you get, your name is going to be in all capital letters. This is why it's important to correct your status. Okay. So, a couple other things on here that I can read. You need a brain. Without a brain, you're deaf, dumb, and blind. So, if you, that's what your straw man is. It's a deaf, dumb, and blind person who can't see, think, or speak for themselves. And again, which was created by the government. And there's a court case on sovereignty, or we don't like saying the word sovereignty because they see it as a threat now. But there's a court case that's um, Yik Yo versus Hopkins, and this was in 1886. It says, Sovereignty in itself, of course, not subject to law, for it is the author and source of law. But in our system, while sovereign powers are delegated to the agencies of government, Sovereignty itself remains with the people, by whom and for whom all government exists and acts. And the law is the definition and limitation of power by controlling us. And as long as we remain a straw man, we will continue to be controlled. So this is why it's important for you all to um, correct your status because right now you're a straw man, you have no brain. You can't talk, you can't speak, you can't think for yourself. You have no source. The only source we have is them, those who feed us and give us the currencies. We don't even make our own currency. Nations make their own currencies. Things like that, so we do too. Nations trade, you know, nations have their own land. Nations stand up for themselves. 
when we when we don't stand up for ourselves, then we consider um how shall I call it? Those who don't stand up for themselves is not a people. You understand? They're not a people. They're dead. They're um, incompetent. I mean, you have no rights. You're nothing. You're the slum. You're, the, you're, the, you're nothing, man. Literally. It's not even a word for you. And claiming that black African American title, that's like a brand of slavery. And you and you happy to brag about your your black African American. You can't we can't come together and stand on that. We gotta stand on our true nationality. We are Shemitic people. And um we all can agree on that. So that's what we should be striving for and our um spiritual name cannot be on worldly documents. So therefore, we have to stand up literally like it's no way around this. It's set up to where you can't do it no other way. Even in the scriptures it tells us that every man go back to their nation, their, their home. It's telling you to correct your status and claim your nationality. But nobody's doing it. My wife got the paperwork and people just afraid. What are you afraid of? You have literally nothing to lose. And nothing to gain. Because if you stay in it thinking you're going to gain anything, the currency, the fiat currency is not currency, it's not money. It's debt. That's why it inflates so much. You, they can they can tax you so much and raise the dollar because you're dealing with fake money. So my reparations won't be fiat. It'll be resources. My nationality. And, and our land and things like that. That's why we correct in our status. Because your sat status set the stage of jurisdiction. It set the stage of adjudication. It set the stage of status alone. Status is your, is, is your standing in the state. That's what status is. Just like your credit score. That's your status when you go try to buy anything. If you got a bad credit score, then you're going to get bull crap. If you got a good credit score, you're going to get the best that they have. Sometimes you don't have to put down no money. It's the same thing. In this society, your credit score is nothing. No matter how hard you work. Because you're claiming your strong man, which is a fictitious entity. It was born in debt. It was born to tax. It was born to throw in jail and put fines on. It was born to, to be a robot. It was born to not exist. Literally. So when you acting as this strong man, they can do anything to you. When you protesting in the streets claiming you this black African American strong man, they can literally do anything to you. We dealing with the people who live and thrive off of the forked tongue, which is legalese in English. So we need to um, import. We, we need to think about what's important. If you love your kids that much, then you the one put the contract on them. They was born into it. We didn't do it. Nobody did it but you. Nobody nobody forced you. You thought it would you, you was tricked to believe that it would be a, a good thing to do is to get your child that social security card and that birth certificate bond receipt. Yeah, so now you got to save your child and get your child out of this no matter what you got to do. 
Handle your business. This is very important. And we was on that doubt, you know, stage, but all that doubt got us nowhere. All that waiting got us nowhere. Now we moving forward. And everything comes together. Most I put th things in your path, your energy alone. If you love something so much, you know you can create it. You can build it. You put it in your mind so much, it can, it'll come to life. So you got to understand this. Universal law is real. And we, and we all up under it. No matter what you do or what you say. So correct your status and get right. A lot ain't gonna do it. Remember, two thirds is, is 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 not gonna do it. One third is gonna is gonna come up out of here. A lot of people ain't gonna do it. So, everybody Hebrew, clearly, if everybody Hebrew, then something ain't right because only two thirds is gonna ain't gonna make it, and one third gonna come out. See, people ain't looking at that. A lot of people don't want to correct their status because they claiming that they waiting for somebody to do it for them. Spiritually. Alright? That's the deception. They don't know. They don't know about Ethiopia. They don't know. They sleep. Uh, their mind is strictly on Israel and, and things like that. And they're not seeking facts and proof and truth. You know? They're not doing further um, research, going deep into it, really trying to understand your origins and where you're from and where everything was created from. Yourself. You got to study to show yourself approved, you know. But law is critical. Law is the light. It protects you. Correct your status. That's very important. If you call yourself black, African, American, white, Chinese, I mean, not Chinese, I'm sorry. White, black, uh, Mexican, Haitian, Jamaican, things like that. Correct your status. Alright? Because right now, only way they can touch you and fine you and jail you, harass you, beat you, and kill you, and do you any type of way only way they can do this is you claiming the straw man. Without the straw man being created as a subhuman, fictitious entity, they can't touch you. They don't apply to you. So don't get caught up in getting too comfortable on where you're sleeping and eating because this shit can end any day now. Money can be gone, stores can be shut, and then what?